Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a wireless application protocol. That is nothing but WAP. So WAP is a set of protocols which allow data exchange for mobile cellulars. Okay, so basically we check websites and all those things in our mobiles, right? Yes. So basically it is possible because of this WAMP only guys. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay, so it is a device independent. So basically I can watch a website on my mobile, on your smartphone, on your iPhone or anywhere. It might be any kind of device. It is 100% supported guys. Okay, so it is a network independent. So basically you can connect it to Wi-Fi. You can connect it to BSNL SIM network or Airtel or Jio or any network. It will work fine. Okay, so WAMP is a protocol designed for micro browsers and it enables the access of internet in the mobile device got it yes so it's quite simple right so to have the ability to access internet on the mobile we will be using this vamp guys it's quite simple right yes so vamp the architecture is also 100 percent simple if you understand the concept here right yes so the first layer is nothing but the application layer then followed by the session layer after that the transaction layer after that security layer transport layer and basis okay so each and every layer is converted to some web technologies guys so the first one is a wae guys i'll be talking about the full forms while we are discussing about those topics wae wsp wtp wtls wdp and here we are having some other services if there are any and the basis so how they are connected like the physical layer you can say this is nothing but the physical layer so they could be connected with the gsm or gprs imt 2000 or something right yes so the first layer is application layer, right? So we are coming from the top to bottom again, okay? Yes, the application layer or the wireless application environment. Okay, so I think everyone knows the use of the application layer, right? So the application front end, which you will be using on your mobile phone is nothing but the application layer, guys. So general purpose application environment based on the combination of WWW, World Wide Web and mobile telephonic technologies. Okay. So it defines the user interface of the phone. Okay. It contains a WML that is nothing but a wireless markup language and WTA wireless telephonic applications. Okay. So using this particular markup language and this technology or applications are built guys. Okay. So using those applications, you can access the internet on your mobile phone. Okay. So this is the application. You can say that application is called as micro browser. Okay, so it includes an application called micro browser, which loads the pages and shows to the user. Okay, this micro browser can read the languages like WML and WTA. So using those languages, you will be building those pages and you can observe them. Got it? Yes. So the next layer is session layer. So basically, whenever you open a website or anything, it might be. So you are going to start a session with that particular website, right? Yes. So you're going to spend some time in simple words, you can say, right? Yes. So session layer, the, the shortcut is a WSP. That is nothing but wireless session protocol is used here. Okay. So it opens a session of a communication between the client and server. It is responsible for fast connection and reconnection. So basically, if a website is having frequent connections with you, like every day you are opening the website. So in that situation, the website will be a bit faster guys for you. Okay. So because there are multiple reasons. So basically we are having a concept called domain name servers. So in which the domain names will be stored in your system or in your service providers place directly their IP addresses will be stored. So instead of fetching for the IP addresses, your service provider, once he sees your website name, your required website name, if it's in his database, he'll automatically map that IP address and he'll show you the website. So in this way, if you are using it frequently based on your sessions, the, uh, the access time, everything will be fast and reconnection. If there's any kind of disconnection, reconnection will also be fast. Got it? Yes. So the next layer is nothing but transaction layer. Okay. So th here the wireless transaction protocol, WTP. So if you observe, these are 100% similar to the words guys, right? Yes. So that is the reason why you can remember them easily. Okay. So it runs on top of user datagram protocol. So this transactions work on top of UDP. So it, this layer supports with the help of transactions. Guys, I'll be discussing about transactions and the atomicity and all those things, asset properties in the next lecture, guys. We have already discussed those asset properties in database management system. Anyway, I'll be discussing them again with the, in terms of mobiles. Okay. Yes. So security layer. 
So the next layer. So wireless transport layer security that is WTLS. Okay. So it consists of a WTLS and responsible for data integration, privacy and authentication during data transmission. So whenever data is being transmitted, you need to have some security and all those things, right? So those features will be provided here. Okay. Similarly, transport layer. So wireless datagram proto protocols WDB. Okay. So it provides a constant data format to high layers of a WAP protocol stack. Got it? Yes. So these are all the layers you can say. And the last layer which I have skipped writing here is our base, base or base. Okay. So these are the protocols which will be used to communication between the devices, guys. So you can use GMS, GPS, sorry, GSM, G, GP, RS, or any kind of technology. Got it? Yes. So the major advantage of a WAP is WAP is a very fast placed technology. So it is very fast. It is an open source technology and completely free of cost. So there is no need of any kind of payment to use it. Right? Yes. So it can be implemented on multiple platforms. Yes, I have, indi I have indicated it. Using WAP, we can send and receive real time data also. So it is possible for real time data also. Okay. So the disadvantages, are there any disadvantages? Yes, it is having some security issues. Similarly, it is having some small UI base. So basically you cannot create some complex things in this UI. Got it? Yes. So the major applications of this is WAP facil facilitates you to access internet via your mobile. The major definition of WAP is that only guys. Yes, you can play games on mobile devices over the wireless devices. Okay, online mobile banking and many online games and everything is possible because of this WAP only. Okay, yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about this WAP concept. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing the mobile transaction models. That is nothing but MTM, you can say. But basically, don't use shortcuts guys for this. Okay, yes. So we'll be discussing about asset properties in detail when, when it comes in terms of mobile computing. Okay, yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.